Okay, in this lesson, we want to talk about 2D and 3D shadow for our <coughs> layers and objects. As you can see, if you double click to any mm, layer here, we have a shadow. We have a simple shadow that you can activate it. First, layer shadow. As you can see, it's animated. That it means you can animate them. But don't forget to allow animated layer effects. In a shadow, you can turn it on and then you have to apply it with the default settings. For seeing the shadows, you have to control R. And as you can see, this is our 2D simple shadow. As you can see, the direction of the shadow is here. You can change the expansion, the clip shadow to the group. For example, if, as you can see, this layer is in this group. If you change the direction in this way, and you can clip it in a group and don't forget to apply. Control R and as you can see, the shadow <coughs> will be restricted to the group this group if you deactivate it apply it sometimes it's very useful as you can see you can shadow is spread all over object that is it's natural shadow threshold if you apply it it's uh, create a um, cartoony shadow with any blur simple shadow you can increase or decrease the number of the blur how much smooth that shadow is or offset how much is offset from the object. Control R. Uh, this is a blur and how much is go far from the object. You can change the offset of that. This is all about uh, layer shadow <coughs> in a 2D. And here you can change the shadow color. As you can see, this is an opacity slider and this is the color. This is a completely black with a slightly opacity because we want to see the object below that to better single object so we need a, a lot of opacity for our shadow another shadow another shadow is a 3d perspective shadow for doing that i click on this object sorry double click to bring its window and you can activate the perspective shadow on uh i i like it's uh, create something like this but for changing the direction and the height of the sun, you have to change the scale and shear. Shear, uh, the positive number uh, makes shadow in this way, the negative number shadow in this way in 3D. The scale, how long shadow, if the shadow is long, it means the sun is in a lowest altitude. And if the shadow is uh, short, it means that the uh, sun is uh, at the top of the sky. So you can make the shadow color and apply it and control R. Let's see what happened here. As you can see, this is our shadow. The shear is zero. It means the sun is exactly at the front. Uh, make positive number of the shear with a scale number one. And as you can see, the shadow comes there. That's not very much the shear number one is Okay, in this case. as you can see, we have a actual 3D shadow. Important thing: uh, shadow in a 3D looks the um, origin of your layer. This is our layer, and for example, if I set the origin, for example, here, and then Control R, as you can see, our shadow is in a wrong position. So, if you want to exactly shadow from its uh, bottom of that make sure that the origin is somewhere like this the, so for 3d shadow the origin is important and now if you control r as you can see everything is correct and shadow beginning from there and for example if you want to more long shadow you can something like this okay so for changing the direction of the sun, the height of that, you can change the scale. <clears throat> the direction of that, you can change the shear. Here, you can change the color. Again, that opacity, we need that. And that's it, 3D. Another interesting thing that is here, a layer shading. For example, uh, with this color, as you can see, it's very um, light and its opacity is high. If you create something like this with the offset blur, you can change it. It's actually, uh, or direction of shading, uh, it apply 
and look at. For example, we have a fire on this robot and you can simulate the fire uh, reflection on the robot on our body. As you can see, this is an ratio. And of course, you can animate it. It's interesting. You can turn it on, off. Uh, you can change the opacity higher and lower and higher to animate something like this. Look at and it looks like it, the fire is um, affecting the robot's body. For example, fire is here. We can simulate something like that with a share shading and animate it. You can go to the timeline and animate it. Don't forget to allow the animate layer effect and then apply for that. So we can change the offset. You can invert it and invert that uh, share lading and oh, it's comes inside of the layer or outside of that you can change it for example the, for example we have a light here and you can you want to it's very important actually for example we have a light here that hit the body of the robot and you can simulate that light with the layer shading it's very important and you see the inverted you can change the direction of that and that's it for example, this direction, that direction, <clears throat> and you can animate it. Uh, let's try some animation. Go to animation because we have a lot of animation for this robot. Delete any animation. Go to this <clears throat> time. I want to, for example, uh, simulate the animation of that. But don't forget, you have to export an animation for that. But it's very easy. You can come here in the shadow. Okay, we have a 3D. We want to animate it. Okay, uh, we can come here and, um, for example, change the blur, change the lighter color, and hit apply. As you can see, we have an animation. Okay, we can animate the density of that color at a timeline. Nice. Okay. So this simulate the fire turning on or off on the face of the robot. Nice. Okay. So you can simply animate it. Come here at the timeline, uh, change it, and automatically keyframe at the start and then keyframe at the here. For example, you can change the blur here. Just hit apply, and we have a keyframe here. Okay. You can animate that number. Nice. And then you can export it, see in your uh, animation. So you can double click on any uh, other layer, image, uh, vector, uh, of course, folders. We have a shadow, layer shading, and 3D shadow for that. And you can activate it at any time that you want and you can animate them okay that's it hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release